This Swiss shooting star has already broken through the title of talent to a real wonder kid, proving himself on the biggest stage and being chased by many top clubs around Europe. This is the story of Swiss striker Noah Okafor. Okafor was born on the 24th of May 2000 in Binningen, a suburb of Basel. He started playing football at local club FC Arisdorf, but at only 9 years old joined the youth academy of local Super League giant FC Basel. There he worked through the youth ranks from the under 10s all the way to the under 21s. During that time he got his first call-ups for the Swift Youth national teams. On the last day of the 17-18 season, Noah Okafor got his first minutes for the first team of FC Basel, playing at home against FC Luzern. This carried over to the new season because on the second day he got his first start on the left wing against Neuchatel Xamax. He would thank his coach for the nomination with his first professional goal and what a goal it was. In the 18-19 season Okafor played regularly and scored 4 goals and 3 assists in the Swiss Championship and the Cup, which Basel ended up winning. That summer, after good performances and the Nigerian Federation also fighting for him, Noah Okafor was called up for the Swiss national team for the first time. He debuted against England in the match for 3rd place of the Nations League finals in June 2019. Okafor made something quite extraordinary, because he made his debut for the first team before ever playing for the under 21s. And that's where after the Nations League finals he became one of the top performers in an under 21s team that qualified for the Euros two times in a row. Next to other talents like Andy Tsekiri, Dan Ndoy and Kasrio Dimeri, Okafor scored 4 goals in 8 games for the under 21s. If you like what you see, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to Topant. Also leave a comment to let us know which Swiss talent you want us to cover next. Noah Okafor started the 1920 season with FC Basel, where he got his first appearances in an international tournament. In the group stages of the Europa League, Okafor scored two goals against Krasnodar and Trabzonspor and registering an assist in the second game against the Turkish club. Then came the first transfer in Okafor's professional career. On the 31st of January 2020, Okafor joined Red Bull Salzburg for over 11 billion euros, making the then 19-year-old Salzburg's most expensive signing to date, overshadowing the likes of Erling Haaland and Karim Adeyemi, who joined the Austrian powerhouse the year before. This showed how much Salzburg believed in Okafor's abilities. Okafor scored his first goal for Salzburg on a home game against Rapid Vienna. In the rest of the 1920 season, which he joined halfway, he scored four goals and an assist in the Austrian Bundesliga and the Cup. Red Bull went on to win both those titles. One perk of playing for Salzburg, of which Okafor profited in the 2021 season, are the regular appearances in the group stage of the Champions League. He played his first minutes of Champions League football in the group stages against Lok Moscow. Sadly enough, he could not find the target there, but that couldn't be said about the rest of his 2021 season. He finished that with 12 goal contributions, 6 goals and 6 assists. But his 21-22 season was going to be even better. Okafor was a vital part of Salzburg's team that steamrolled the Austrian Bundesliga year after year, that season scoring 9 goals and 9 assists and another 4 goal contributions in the cup. That season he also scored in the Champions League. Okafor managed to bang in 3 goals in the group stages including a doublette against Wolfsburg and a match winner against FC Sevilla. Salzburg eventually fell short to Bayern Munich in the round of 16, but won the domestic double again. After that, Okafor was called up to the Swiss national team again, proving vital in the last two games of qualification for the World Cup 2022. Okafor provided an assist in the top of the group clash against Italy and scored an important goal against Bulgaria, sending Switzerland to Qatar. 2022 was going to be Okafor's breakthrough year, scoring like nobody's business in the Austrian Bundesliga 
and spectacularly in the first three games of the Champions League. A superb solo run against AC Milan, a clinical finish against Chelsea and a penalty against Dinamo Zagreb. It was the next logical step that No Okafor was named part of Switzerland's World Cup squad and got to go to a big tournament for the first time. In Qatar he didn't quite manage to get a starting role but made appearances against Cameroon, Serbia and Portugal, all while collecting experience for future tournaments. Noah Okafor is an immensely talented offensive minded player who can play as a number 9 striker as well as on both wings. Okafor is skillful and knows when and where to use that. He can shoot well from any distance and what brilliant goals he can score. One of his biggest strengths is his agility, having the ability to turn around any defender at any point. A clear strength in his playing style is his extreme pace, which makes him dangerous for counter-attacks and when attacking on the wing. Okafor seems to be a little injury prone, that's really his only weakness. But when he stays fit, his potential really has no limits. Oh, and by the way, the Okafors are a very talented family. Noah has two younger brothers, Elijah and Isaiah, who both already have played for youth national teams of Switzerland. 